What is going on, mortals? Mortal T here, and welcome back to some Hello Neighbor to Hello Guest. Last time we completed the lumber yard or making some planks, and now we're going to head into that church right here. Just be aware the guest is still roaming around this area. So you have to be careful trying to get in to the church. Once you get in the church, we just want to close the doors. And for now, you should be pretty safe. Now, we haven't got a lot of planks, but we're going to need them. So look around. You should see some planks in some boxes just scattered everywhere. So make sure you're trying to pick up as many as you can because you're going to need them. Um, all this bit so what we're gonna do we're gonna get our hammer out and this is like a like a parkour kind of bit we're trying to get to the top and get some stuff so we're gonna head to our right or right here and this is where we need to go so we need to get to that next bit over here so what we can do we can use the planks to go in a direction and we can apply, we can move along and just keep doing this. Keep applying. Now, it can take up two to three of these planks in order to actually make it over here. But once you have, you can run and jump, unlike what I just did. So we're going to run and jump, and he's going to catch on to that. Here we can pick up some more planks, which we're going to need. From here, it's a bit it looks a bit far, but we're going to make it over to that platform right there. So we can use our planks again. Now if you've been big picking up planks along the way, you should have uh, a good amount of these. So you don't technically have to worry about how many you use. But if you haven't got a lot uh, usually about three should do you uh, for you to make it across. Keep picking up the planks as you're going to need them. From here we just need to make it up to that little ledge right there. So we don't have to use uh, too many planks. We just have to get over there. There we go. And that should do it. You should be able to run and jump on top. Like so. Now it all depends on how many planks you got. We've got to get over there. So it's basically you got to follow this little like. Uh, cord, rope, cable, whatever you want to call it. So we just want to continue to follow this line. So smack down, rotate, put it down. Now it all depends on how confident you are in your jumps. But I used four planks there and it just looked like I made it. But I'm pretty sure right at the moment I am actually out of planks. So once we're up, what we need to do is take this elevator down. Like so. You can follow it down if you want. It's entirely up to you. But from here we actually need to go back uh, up. And try and collect as many planks as we can. So once you back on this bit, what we're going to do, we're just going to get out our crowbar. And we're just going to break them like that. So they all fall down to the floor. Drop down. Do the same for here. Now you don't have to jump across back to there. You can just jump down come back to these ones. run and jump across again 
dismantle these right here. So they fall down. And then obviously back to these ones. Dismantle. Now we no longer need to get them up. So we can pick these up. Always important to try and keep your inventory basically full of these boards. Then we're going to jump in here and use the elevator to go up to where we came from. So from here. From here we need to make our way across to those little lights over there. So we need to get her back out our hammer and use these planks to go across. Now these ones can be a bit strange because they are at an angle. So you can't go up like perfectly straight, so don't worry. Now it's up to you how many of these planks that you're going to use. Now you should have enough planks to make it across here. Right, we should be able to jump across from here. From here, you should be able to run and jump across like so. You probably used most of your boards there though. That took quite a lot for me. But from here, we just want to use these little uh, posts that are sticking out of the wall. Like so, to jump up. This can be a bit tricky because it's kind of hard to gauge where they are and how far you're jumping onto them. You see? To me, I should have jumped onto the second one right there. Okay, we've managed to climb up. From here, we're going to head to the left, follow this like beam round. Jump on top of here, follow the wall around to these crows right here. Make sure you don't fall off. And from here we're going to... We need to go up where the crows are yet again. So... We use our hammer. Try and make our way over there. Now from here, you could risk it and jump. Now you could risk it at two planks if you wanted to. But I am going to put a third plank down. And we should be able to run and jump from here. We need to go exactly where that like yellow uh, fabric is. Um, so yeah, and from here we can jump up and over from here you can place boards down just make sure you place them better than I did but you can from here just run and jump to that next one just be careful that you don't double jump so as you see I'm literally just on the edge right here <laughs> so like you can thingy and from this one as well you can just run and jump over here where there is some more planks I do advise you picking them all up just in case you haven't got any this is where you your lift is now from here you can just take this down if you want to or you can just activate it jump back up here and go and collect some more planks it all depends on how many you've got in your inventory I've got a good amount but I'm not actually too fussed about it so, I'm going to activate this one. And boom. So, once you've activated this lift and it's gone back and it's gone down to the ground floor, we're just going to activate it again and we're going to go uh, up top. I, I just did that just so I knew the elevator. If you died right here, fell down or something, the elevator would actually be on the floor for you. Don't know if it actually necessarily helps, but it's just what I did. So, from here, we're going to have to head up there to that one so that means we're gonna place some planks down like so 
from here. You can place two, three, up to you. But I place two and um, sprint jump. Most of these are going to be sprint jumps. So from here, we need to head up to where that chair is. So we're going to place some more planks like so. Now you can place two or three here. It all depends on what you feel comfortable with. On how many planks to use or see I've only got three planks left so I can use another one because to me that one just does seem a bit far so I'm gonna place one that I didn't actually mean to place there but sprint jump across and I just made it across there are some more planks up top, so you can collect them right there. That gives me a couple. From here, obviously, jump across. Make sure you don't jump off. That is a possibility. Follow this round, and we need some more planks to get over to that yellow piece of cloth there where the crow is. So, I keep accidentally just placing these by accident. Make sure you don't do what I do. So, two or three planks should do it. All depends, like I said, what you feel comfortable with. I am actually going to place three. And then sprint jump across. Whew, we're on the edge. From here, I think that's about it. We just keep going up. So, from here, it's a bit tricky uh, to say the least so you're going to need at least one plank and we're going to rotate it like so and we're going to try and nail it to the edge of this beam there we go like so it's a bit weird but this is uh hard to say we just need to balance on it and then step back until we can jump up jump up like so it is a bit tricky but you can do it now from here no wooden beams I've got none left from here we need to run and jump over to there this can be a quite of annoying, especially if you miss or overdo it, because you fall off. Right. Now, we obviously activate this. This activates the bell, which then breaks and pulls everything down and it crashes a hole into the basement. Now, from here, you can choose a safe way down if you want to, but otherwise, you can just jump off and it will just actually respawn you uh, right here which is very cool so we're gonna head down we're gonna head through we're gonna head and pick up this shovel then we're gonna use the shovel to dig this dirt away which makes us fall into this hole we're gonna go through so we got a pressure plate right here, we got a barrel. We pick up the barrel if it'll let us. Like so. And we place it down. Opens this. Then we got some like rocks. We pick them up. And from here, we need to chuck a rock at the barrel so it moves off the jump pad. Jump pad, the pressure pad. <laughs> like so. And now, right here is difficult as well because we have another pressure plate. That I don't think stones work on. So we need to get the barrel through here. Which can be um, somewhat difficult. 
see the they're on there, but it doesn't work. Right, so pick up the barrel. Trying to chuck it in is ridiculous. So I'll pick up the barrel, and we're gonna have to jump in ourselves, like so. Put the barrel down, and then jump back out. This can get a bit buggy. So as you can see, I'm actually bugged right here. I'm actually stuck, even though it's not supposed to be possible to get stuck. But we made it out. Which opens here. Now we just run through. Jump up. There we go. You might get a couple of bugs like that as well. For some reason, I don't know why it happens. It just does. From here, pick up another shovel. Lock up. And we're going to use it to dig. From here, we're just going to jump up into this right here. And from here, this is basically the ending models. We walk forward. And we get a little cutscene of... Like these skeleton dolls of children. Pretty cool. And they come in, you're like, ah! But now they come down. But, Moles, that is it. That is the end of the Hello Guest uh, Alpha Build Part 9, I think, or something like that. So, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope this has helped you out. And I'll hopefully see you, Moles, in the next video.